How's it going, good friends? Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to put the Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Polish and Wax from Turtle Wax on the test panel. It's actually already on the test panel. We did a showcase uh, showing the gloss and the turnaround it can make on troubled clear coat. Now we're going to take it outside and we're going to beat it up a little bit. But here's the kicker. We are going to switch up testing a little bit to simulate more of what a car sees out there in the real world traveling on the streets from road salt and brine to the mixture that gets mixed up on the roadways from all the cars leaking tons of different chemicals onto the roadway such as gasoline, diesel, antifreeze, motor oil, transmission fluid, uh, brake fluid, uh, power steering fluid, a whole ton of toxic chemicals that are corrosive, all mixed together in one soup once it rains and it collects all those chemicals from the roadways and gathers them in puddles that we drive through or cars in front of us mist it up onto the car. That's what our clear coat has to deal with on a daily basis. So I wanted to simulate that more than just spraying um, some APCs on the, the test panel to see how long it would last. So we're going to try that type of testing today. You guys let me know down in the comments section if, if you want me to continue that, uh, if you want me to tweak it a bit one way or another, or you just want me to go back to spraying plain old APCs onto a panel, which I'm not even sure what they tell us uh, besides going through car washes with high alkaline pretreat or the foam that comes down on the car. So please let me know. Uh, we'll communicate and we'll try to come up with the best testing to test chemicals like these to see how long they might last once we apply them to our car. Each one of these solutions has been cut just to kind of simulate it mixing in with not only rain and water but other chemicals um, out on the street. Brake fluid which contains many different types of ethers. Automatic trans fluid that contains detergents and surfactants that are very strong. Motor oil the same. Detergents like phenoxide. Also, brine, the solution that we have out in the streets that treats the roads before uh, bad weather. I also mixed in some uh, driveway salt because that's on the roadways as well in places. And then we have uh, gasoline that also has butane and pentene in it. So all of these chemicals are a lot harsher than previous testing, and they are all out on the street on a daily basis. And when it rains, they, they get all mixed together. And in one sloppy solution that flies up on the side of your car. And if these products can handle these chemicals, they can handle anything. Just a few days ago, if you recall, we reviewed and showcased the Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Polish and Wax from Turtle Wax. And it was on this test panel, so it's been curing on this panel for a couple days. It's ripe for chemical resistance testing. That's exactly what we're going to do today. All the different chemicals that I showed you earlier, we're going to uh, introduce to the panel. Then we'll wash off. Uh, we have Purple Power Vehicle and Boat and a little bit of Car Pro Reset in there to clean the slate between uh, each test. Let's get this going. Okay, we're going to start off with the salt and brine solution. Before we do, the panel has been sitting outside for a couple days. Let's wash it off. Okay, salt and brine, it is pretty strong. The panel is wet. That will represent a wet roadway. All right, so each chemical I'll let sit for three minutes. You can see how it is um, fighting off and beating the brine solution. And just to show you a little bit of a mist got on my gloves, you can see the salt. Plenty of it. Okay, let's rinse and then we'll wash off and reset the panel with Car Pro Reset and some Purple Power.
All right, next up we have the brake fluid solution, and we know how corrosive that is, uh, especially if you're spilling it while you're filling up your reservoir and you let it set in the sunlight, direct sunlight, that will etch through your clear coat in no time at all. All right, so again, we're gonna let the brake fluid sit for three minutes. Still look like there's efficient amount of protection there. Okay, let's rinse. You can see the chemical rinsing away there. Okay, next up will be the transmission fluid, and similar to transmission fluid and motor oil, besides lubrication, there's a ton of detergents and surfactants, and they're really strong. This time, I dried the panel completely, so there's going to be um, full contact with the product with no dilution. Okay, still looks like it's fighting it off. We're going to let this sit for yet another three minutes. Good sign there. Okay, let's rinse. This time I, I could see the contact angle of the beading coming down, so we are wearing it down. Let's move on to motor, motor oil next. Okay, next, motor oil, again, a ton of surfactants and detergents along with the lubrication separating. Let's shake it up. Applied to a dry panel once again. I know I'm going to go through a ton of nozzles, spray nozzles doing this, but that's all right. There's, and you can see, I mean, there's still, it's still trying to bead the chemical. It's a great sign. All right, we'll let that sit. Okay, three minutes, let's rinse and wash off with the shampoo. All right, if you could see that, uh, the protection is breaking down to sheeting now, but there is still protection there. Let's move on to gasoline. Okay, next up, pure gasoline.
Okay, we'll let that sit for three minutes. All right, let's rinse this and then wash. All right, so that pretty much did it in. The gasoline. If it would have made it through, we would have then went to the other end of the scale, products that have high acidity. Okay, so what we're going to do before I judge this product here, uh, which, which did very well in my opinion, there are a lot of chemicals spilled out on the roadways that mixes into a soupy mess once it rains, splashes up on your car, either from your own tires or the car in front of you, and you know, throughout uh, a week's time, a month's time, a couple months time, that really adds up and it's really abusive to your clear coat. So we did change up the testing here. Let's run a couple products through this type of testing and we'll stay consistent with how we did it, the order we did it and the routine and we'll be able to tell the difference between different products and how they protect using this method. So I'm going to hold judgment on the three-in-one wax, although I think it did very well with the products that it came in contact. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. A quick reminder, if you are enjoying the content, you find it helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, share the content, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when we have new videos available.